Russian President Vladimir Putin has suggested an agreement can be reached with the United States to release detained American journalist Evan Gershkovich as he brought up the conviction of a patriotic Russian hitman in Germany. The comments came during a lengthy and at times ponderous interview with American right-wing pundit Tucker Carlson, Putin's first with a Western media figure since his full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. The sit-down interview in Moscow, which sparked controversy for Carlson before it even aired, lasted for some two hours and saw Putin repeat lengthy treatises on Russian history, his perceived grievances with the West, as well as his often-voiced justifications for launching the largest conflict in Europe since the Second World War. Gershkovich, a Wall Street Journal reporter, was arrested last March while on a reporting trip in the country. The Federal Security Service, Russia's main security service, accused him of trying to obtain state secrets, a charge Gershkovich, his employer, and the U.S. government have strenuously denied. We have made so many goodwill gestures that, it seems to me, we have run out of them, Putin said when asked by Carlson whether he would be willing to release Gershkovich, according to a transcript from Russian state news agency RA Novosti. No one has ever responded to our goodwill gestures with similar gestures. But we, in principle, are ready to say that we do not exclude the possibility that we can do this with counter-movement from our partners. During the two-hour-long interview filmed in the Russian capital Moscow, Putin said talks are ongoing with between representatives of Russian and U.S. special services, and the issue must be solved through the proper channels. We have no taboo about solving this problem. We are ready to solve it, but there are certain conditions that are being discussed through special services channels between the intelligence services. I think an agreement can be reached, he told the former Fox News host. A Russian court has repeatedly extended his pretrial detention, but if convicted, he faces up to 20 years in prison. The U.S. State Department has officially designated Gershkovich as wrongfully detained by Russia. U.S. journalist Evan Gershkovich, arrested on espionage charges, stands inside a defendant's cage before a hearing at the Moscow City Court in Moscow on October 10, 2023. U.S. journalist Evan Gershkovich, arrested on espionage charges, stands inside a defendant's cage before a hearing at the Moscow City Court in Moscow on October 10, 2023. Natalia Kolesnikova slash AFP Getty Images slash file. In December, Gershkovich's sister told CNN that the ordeal for his family is painful and getting harder as they await progress on his release. He's missed out on so much, and we dearly miss him, but we have to stay strong and just keep fighting for Evan, Danielle Gershkovich said. The Biden administration's efforts to secure his release have not yet yielded results. The White House offered to trade a large number of Russian nationals detained on espionage charges abroad in exchange for the release of Gershkovich and fellow American Paul Whelan, two people familiar with the matter told CNN in December. But the offer was not accepted. When Putin said Gershkovich was working with U.S. special services, Carlson did push the Russian president, saying, This guy is obviously not a spy. He's a kid. He's being held hostage. Murder in a Berlin Park. In reply, Putin indicated Russia's interest in the release of a Russian national currently serving out a life sentence for murder in Germany. Putin alluded to the case of Vadim Krasikov, a former colonel from Russia's domestic spy organization, convicted of assassinating a former Chechen fighter in broad daylight in Berlin in 2019. Listen, I'll tell you, sitting in one country, a country that is an ally of the United States, is a man who, for patriotic reasons, eliminated a bandit in one of the European capitals, Putin said. Russian government officials have previously requested that Krasikov be released as part of a proposed prisoner swap of notorious Russian arms dealer Victor Bout for U.S. citizens Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan, according to U.S. officials and CNN reporting. File photo. Tucker Carlson speaks as conservative leaders and personalities attend Turning Point USA's AmericaFest 2023 in Phoenix, Arizona, U.S. December 18, 2023. Reuters slash Caitlin O'Hara slash file photo. Related article. Tucker Carlson is in Russia to interview Putin. He's already doing the bidding of the Kremlin. Griner a professional basketball player, was freed in a prisoner exchange for bout while Whalen remains in prison. 
Paul Whelan, a U.S. former Marine who says he was visiting Russia for a friend's wedding, was arrested in Moscow on December 28, 2018, and imprisoned on charges of espionage that he has consistently and vehemently denied. The Wall Street Journal responded to Putin's suggestion that Gershkovich could be released, saying, Evan is a journalist, and journalism is not a crime. Any portrayal to the contrary is total fiction. Evan was unjustly arrested and has been wrongfully detained by Russia for nearly a year for doing his job, and we continue to demand his immediate release, the newspaper said in a statement. We're encouraged to see Russia's desire for a deal that brings Evan home, and we hope this will lead to his rapid release and return to his family and our newsroom.